My name's Stacy Morrison, and uh, I drive a semi truck. And uh, typically, if you think of a truck driver, you think of either a uh, rail skinny, uh, pill pumping, maybe cokehead or something, or a big uh, chicken and grits eating, uh, gravy on his biscuits type of Southern Bubba truck driver. So uh, I don't want to fall as an average in between. I'm going to be the one in. 10,000 stand out out there on the road. Part two of our Buns and Guns series, we're moving on to arms. Ryan's got a really cool technique, a uh, bit of old school stuff combined with some new school science. This is called the post-exhaustion method. How many of you guys have heard of pre-exhaustion? Probably all of you, right? It's an old school bodybuilder thing, right? You do a set of flies, so you do an isolation movement first, followed by a compound movement. So a set of flies followed by a dumbbell bench press for your chest. Well, the science shows that that's actually not a very effective way to stimulate hypertrophy because the pre-exhaustion movement takes away from your ability to create tension in the compound movement. So we're gonna do a compound movement that targets the arms followed by an isolation movement for the arms. So we're gonna great, we're gonna be in groups of two this time around. Half of you are gonna start on A1, A2. The other half of you are gonna start on B1, B2. Then we'll switch that and then we'll move on to C and D, okay? So A1 is a narrow supinated sternum chin up. So we're gonna go here, pinkies about three to four inches apart. You're gonna go full hang and you're gonna pull down and actually touch the bottom of your sternum to the bar. Not just chin above the bar, the bottom of your sternum. As Soon as you drop off that chin up bar, you have 10 seconds of rest, which is just enough time to get to the next station. We're gonna do alternating incline dumbbell curls with an isometric hold of the non-working arm. So we have the supinated chin ups, which targets more the short head of the biceps. The incline curls targets more of the long head. Now, after you get done with the second pairing, you take two to three minutes rest. So we're looking for full recovery so you can exert good effort again on the next set. Okay, three sets of that. Your B's, your triceps. We're gonna start with a close grip bench press. When I say close, don't get in here like this. This just puts a ton of stress on your wrist. Just go where your knuckles are in line with your shoulders. So a biacromial width. You're doing eight to 10 reps, four seconds down, exploding up, really focusing on squeezing the tries hard on the explosive concentric. Then you're doing a 10 second rest, and we have dumbbell perillo press. And he's gonna do a five second eccentric triceps extension. Five, four, three, two, one. Once the bells hit your shoulders, you roll down and press them back up. So it allows you to use heavier weight than you normally would on a triceps extension. And it really torches the tricep fibers because it's a heavy eccentric overload, if that makes sense. Then we're gonna move to finishers. Easy stuff coming up. Here. Easy stuff coming up. <laughs> so partner barbell curls. You're gonna get a partner, 100 total reps, you go, I go. Okay, so here's how it works. If Vince and I are partners, I do as many curls as I can with good technique, keeping tension on the biceps. Let's say I get to 18. I hand it to him. He does as many as he can. He hands it back to me. We keep going until each of us gets to 100 reps. D, this one, you're gonna love this one. Fingers interlocked, feet elevated push-up. Same thing, with a partner, you go, I go. When I'm in the gym, uh, I don't look to uh, lift super heavy. I look to get really good pump, you know, get my muscles full, and just maintain that. I'm not looking to gain 20, 30 pounds of muscle. I don't wanna be that big presence. I just wanna really stay athletic and uh, Really just full, you know, that's, that's pretty much my goal. Punch! Nice. Come on, come on. There you go. There it is. Keep going, come on. Don't bounce off the bottom. Control at the bottom. Keep tension. Punch! Yes, there you go. Let's go squeeze the bar strong. Strong wrists, strong wrists. Punch. You got it, you got it. Good. Control punch straight up over your chest. Yep. See how his elbows are flared out? That's because his grip is too narrow, which is causing a lot of stress on his wrist. So what we're going to do on his next set is we're going to take his wrist to a shoulder width position. So just stay like right inside. How do you find your grip for close grip press? Go like this. That's your grip. That's it. Okay. Just like straight front shoulders. Just put your hands out in front of you. That's your grip for close grip press. Always. Last one. Come on. It's 10 pound dumbbells. Let's go. 10 pound dumbbells have never been hit heavy in the history of weightlifting. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Boom. Love it. Great effort. Yeah, yeah you, got, you got some blood volume going right now. I've never really like, focused like yeah. I've never done that before in my life. Good. Got some new tools in the toolbox. Hell yeah, man. Okay, so one of them's up. Yep. 
Curl all the way down, cramp it, and then come take that one to halfway. Good, now all the way down. Curl up, squeeze hard, squeeze hard, squeeze hard, contract. Contract against the weight. There you go. Keep a good neutral head position, right there. Squeeze, squeeze, supinate hard too. Supinate hard. Up halfway, keep that halfway. Supinate hard, twist hard. So the biceps not only flex the elbow, they're also a supinator. So one of the things you can do to increase tension is to focus at the top on trying to get your pinky higher than the wrist by twisting out hard. Good, biceps are facing forward, your neck is neutral. You don't need to look down, you keep your neck neutral. When you look down, you flex and you impinge on the nerve that gives that biceps, that bicep power. There you go. Nice, go all the way down. Backward, 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 backward. Now forward, 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 forward. Close the gap, close the gap. Harder, 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 thank you. Help it from the legs. Here, Mitch, watch this. You wanna make it hard on him? Here, I'm done yet. Get back up there. To the top to get a tight squeeze. Watch this, watch this. Use my, okay, this is how you spot him, yeah. Hold him here, now use my legs. Now stay, yeah, now you got an assisted pull-up machine. So what you wanna do when you're spotting him is you create an assisted pull-up machine. Oh yeah, All right. that makes sense. Yeah, create an assisted pull-up machine with your hands. That way he can stand up into it and he can control how much assistance he um, gives it. Oh, instead of me, just like. And instead of you doing the work, make uh -huh. him do the work, yeah. Come on, dig, 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 let's go. Dig, find it, find it. Come on, find it, let's go. Up, yes. That's it, aggressive. All right, take it, take it, take it. Yep. Good set, hustle over, Perillos, let's go. Okay, so now we're doing the hypertrophy portion of the buns and guns workout. We went from using 360 pounds on deadlifts this morning to struggling with 10 pound dumbbells this afternoon. The reason's because for the afternoon workout for hypertrophy, we're focusing on the input stimulus and the muscle contraction internally. Right. With heavy compound lifts, it's often better to focus on moving the weight from A to B with good technique to fire up your central nervous system. So it's a drastically different philosophy with these two workouts, but they're both necessary for optimal hypertrophy. A lot of these guys are getting really humbled today. They're working with uh, 10 to 15 pounds on curls, 45 pounds for uh, the, the barbell curls, and these are like 200 pound plus guys, and they're getting the workout of their life. Who would have thought, right? But it's all about what's your goal. Is your goal to move a lot of weight, or is your goal to contract the muscle? If your goal is to build muscle, your goal is to contract the muscle. Tighten that up, it's a bullshit rep. Tighten it up, let's go. That's a little okay. better, still a bullshit rep. Give it to Carter. All right. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna stay there. I want you to give me partials with perfect form. No shoulder to elbow movement. Just flex, just stay. that's it, down. There you go. That's all you can control right now. So that's all you're, that's the only place you're gonna go. Now keep those forward. Okay, so that's what a training partner does for his training partner, he doesn't let him cheat. There's no room for cheating, guys. I don't care. There's a lot of guys online who says, ah, yeah, strategically cheat. It's bullshit. Cheating is only gonna smash up your joints and it's gonna destroy your opportunity to lift long term. All right, no room for cheating whatsoever. Hey, no sneaking pre-workout on everybody else. You gotta share if you're gonna have PPK during the workout. Look at this guy's making a mess with the PPK. <laughs> he is pumped greedy over here. Okay, so anytime you do triceps exercise with the elbow, with the shoulder internally rotated, it's gonna work more the medial head of the triceps. So it's gonna be the inside of the elbow. Exercises like press downs uh, tend to work the lateral head a little more with the elbows out. So this position is gonna work that medial head. Good for variation, good for taxing a lot of different muscle fibers. As Mitch will tell you. Right, Mitch? No. Contract hard to the top too. Yep, right there. Yeah, squeeze it, there you go. Looks like I got kicked by a horse. <laughs> kicked by a horse there on his horseshoe. Don't bounce the bar, squeeze it up. You got this. Keep your neck still, get your head in your biceps. Your arms look an inch bigger already. Come on, Brian, suck it up, man. Suck it up. That's it, all right. Crawl up into a little fetal position. Wheelchair. All right, guys, let's see a front double biceps. Gun show, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I like it. That's what I'm talking about. Big arms, looking good, guys. Let's go through 10 things you guys learned from that bicep, tricep, hypertrophy workout. One thing each. Uh, really just focusing on keeping your hips back behind your shoulders and uh, keeping your arms out in front of you. 
get a nice big arc. Keeping your arms out front to get more tension, increase tension all the way through the whole motion. Well, I used to think pre-exhaustion was the way to go, but Ryan set me straight and told me that uh, post-exhaustion is where it's at. Thanks, man. Um, big thing was form for me. I relied a lot on my shoulders, so having the bar out front made me use my biceps more. Leave your ego at the door, grab 10, 15 pounders and go for it. <laughs> yeah, amen, brother. Uh, contraction internally first through your muscle and then move the weight. That's king. Also, partner curls can be a waking nightmare. I learned the, the full contraction, what I thought I was getting, the really tight squeeze contraction, especially of the bicep, of what a really, really contracted bicep was and being able to push myself into more failure that I thought I was pushing myself to before, but not even close. So. I feel like it was the, the proper form and movement and focus, not just throwing your weight up, throwing your body up. It's all about just strategizing the movement and, I mean, a simple push-up. It was hard as hell, and I feel like I just gained 20 pounds of muscle doing this workout, all from proper form and focus. It was, it was, it was tough. It was good. You guys all look like you did a few inches after that workout. Good job. Excellent. You're giving me five out of ten. Bring it up to six. Come on. Take it up to six. Come on. New gear. More hip plus shoulders. You got this. More hip plus shoulders. Let it out. Let Wait. it out. Let it out. There you go. Let that aggression out. This is the place to good do job, it. Cody. You're good. in good company. Try, try. You're in good company.